Hello everyone, it's April 28th. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department, here for today's COVID-19 update. The state of Michigan is reporting that there are 38,210 diagnosed cases of COVID-19 around the state and 3,407 deaths statewide. Here in Kent County, as of this morning, I'm being told there are 1,301 diagnosed cases. That's an increase of 201 over yesterday's reported number. That's our single largest daily increase in diagnosed COVID-19 cases. And I think, once again, there are some important reasons for that. We're seeing, coming out of each weekend, some irregularities, some surges and lulls in the numbers reported to us. I think that's because that these results are being batched in, in such a way uh, that we're getting large results all at once. We've also continued to do very targeted testing of those most vulnerable environments. Places like shelters, which house people who are experiencing homelessness. Places like employers that suspect that they're seeing clusters of illness in their workplace. We've done a lot of testing in the past couple of days at places like that. Places where we expect that we're going to see a higher than average rate of infection. And so as we do this very targeted testing, and again, we are, we are hunting for illness. We're hunting for virus, trying to find where people are positive so we can isolate them and protect the others in their surroundings. Uh, but as we do that, it should not be a surprise to any of us that we're going to see uh, some larger than expected numbers. But I want you to keep in mind also that our, our death rate, our numbers of, of dead have fortunately stayed relatively low. In fact, we're reporting 33 deaths as of today. That's actually one less than yesterday, and that's because of, uh, you know, we identified that one of the previously reported deaths uh, actually did not belong to Kent County. So we have 33 deaths uh, so far. Of the, the deaths so far, uh, yesterday, for instance, we had one of the 92 deaths reported by the state of Michigan, which is less than 1%. Meanwhile, the total cases, new cases reported yesterday, here in Kent County, we had 16% of the new cases. So while our percentage of cases as a proportion of the state's number is pretty high, day over day, the percentage of deaths, which is the number that we're most seriously concerned about, has stayed very low. So again, we're doing more testing. We're doing more targeted testing. Our hospitals are providing tremendous care because we're doing our part to make sure they're not overwhelmed with severe cases. And we're making sure that when we find the virus and we find people who are infected, that we're giving them great isolation instructions. We're supporting them with isolation. We're doing contact investigation and finding who has been exposed and we're giving them quarantine directions. These are the public health tools that we're gonna be using uh, from now until the time that we have good pharmaceutical uh, solutions available. These are the tools we're going to be using to control this epidemic and make sure that our community gets through this all together. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions about masks and, and who shouldn't wear a mask. So to be clear, we want to encourage everyone who can wear a cloth uh, mask to do that, in public especially. Uh, that prevents or limits the possibility of, uh, of a, a person who is infected from spreading that virus to others. So everyone who can wear a mask should, but children, especially under the age of two, should never wear a mask. The risk of suffocation is too great. Anyone who has trouble breathing because of any chronic health condition or, or any other condition should not wear a mask. Anyone who's unconscious or incapacitated or who doesn't have the ability to take the mask off should not be wearing a mask. We don't want to create other problems where someone has difficulty breathing uh, and suffers from a tragedy because of the mask. So again, I want to encourage everyone, wear the mask, uh, but, but those who shouldn't wear a mask, uh, let's not put any undue pressure on them to wear masks when it could harm their health. I also want to take a second to brag about my team because I received this award in the mail from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. It's the Jean Shabu Health Policy Champion Award. And this is an award that we were actually supposed to receive at an award reception last week at the Capitol. Uh, it's an award that we at the Kent County Health Department received for our work in what's called Project Public Health Ready. It's a, 
Uh, it's a very rigorous program that looks to make sure that public health agencies are prepared for public health emergencies. Things like pandemics, for instance. Well, we couldn't be at the Capitol last week because you know, of the stay-at-home uh, orders and because that we're all trying to avoid social gatherings and celebrations like that. Uh, and so I just want to take this opportunity to thank my team and especially Dr. Carla Black and Pat Draper and so many others who have done their part to make sure that our health department is prepared for public health emergencies. And it's a little ironic that we couldn't go to receive our award because of a public health emergency, but, uh, but I want everyone to know that uh, we've got an amazing team here. They do tremendous work, and, uh, and part of the reason that we've been so prepared for this pandemic is because of the work of those working in emergency preparedness who have earned this award. So thank you to them, and thanks to all of you who support us. Uh, it's really been encouraging and heartwarming in the past few months, all of the positive encouragement that you've given us. Uh, I can tell you personally, it means an awful lot to us. We've got a lot of people here at the Kent County Health Department through all of Kent County as, a, as an enterprise and through all of our partner organizations here in Kent County uh, who have given so much of themselves during this crisis to protect this community, which is so precious to all of us. This fight is personal for all of us, and it means a lot to me that you support us uh, as we support you. So I just want to encourage you to stay positive, stay heroic, and stay healthy. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.